Hello everyone, and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 127, and we're going to be going over the Foo Table module. If you have worked at all with responsive websites or building websites so they scale down nicely on tablet and mobile devices, the Foo Table module will be something that may interest you. It essentially allows you to easily build tables using the views module and have these tables scale down nicely whether or as you scale down the size of the screen. It uses the jQuery foo table plugin and it creates the responsive table layout. But before we get started, as always I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also hop over to codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter if you haven't already. Today's sponsor is buildamodule.com. Buildamodule.com is a great place to learn about Drupal. I've used it in the past with my employees at Beginner Media, and it's a great way to learn the basics of Drupal and get started quickly. So if you're looking to expand on your Drupal knowledge or just getting started with Drupal, go ahead and check out buildamodule.com. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do with the when you install the food table module is make sure you have the libraries API module and the views module downloaded and installed. You're also going to need to download the food table jQuery plugin and put it in your sites all libraries directory. You're going to want the directory to be called foo table. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I have also in this example I've downloaded the Zen theme because it allows you to easily make it a fluid width. So as you can tell, it's pretty basic, but it's a fluid width theme. That's going to make it easier to show the various breakpoints with our table. So I have went ahead and set the Zen theme as my default. Obviously, if you're using Zen, you're going to most likely be using a sub-theme. But in this case, just for example purposes, I've just installed the Zen base theme, and I'm using that as my default theme. I'm going to go ahead and create a new view. I'll go ahead and call it Foo Table and I'll show content of type article. I'll go ahead and leave it a page and leave the path and everything the same. But the def display format we want to select Foo Table. And you're going to notice that, or at least one thing you need to keep in mind, is this is a alpha release. It's very much I guess in the category of it still needs work. So it's not perfect, but I still wanted to show this module off because of how cool it can be. And hopefully, if you have some time to look into fixing some of the bugs and issues, you can make this module even better. So just keep that in mind as we're go as we're getting started that it still is going to it's it's not perfect yet, but it is going to still be pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and save that and I'm going to add a whole bunch of fields here just so we have an example to look through. I'm going to add, say, edit and delete links, the comment counts. We will go ahead and add the post dates, and we'll add the updated dates. So we have a few fields added there. We'll leave all the labels the same. and I'm going to go ahead and rearrange some of these put in the edit and delete links at the end I will hit apply I'm also going to give the title a label of article title and now here's where the settings for the foo table come in so we have the format selected as foo table as you can see and there's specific settings for this table so if you scroll down, you'll notice that there's foo table settings here. The first one is where you want the expandable column to be. And this is where the plus or minus icon is going to appear. We're going to leave this as article title. The next, you can select your collapsed columns. So this is where you can select where you want certain fields to be hidden. So for instance, if I want the edit and delete link to be hidden 
we will say we, we want all the fields to be hidden on the phone besides the title field and we also want the post date and or the comment count and the updated date to be hidden on the tablet now I can go ahead and hit apply click save and go ahead and take a look at these settings again so you know what's going to happen you can see that some of these fields are going to be hidden on depending on the various sizes so I'm going to go ahead and click on view page as you can see I have a pretty simple looking table here using the foo table module and I have an extension on Chrome called the web developer extension which I'm going to use to view the responsive layouts so this just gives you a bunch of different sizes so we can go through and we can look through these various sizes so I'll go ahead and take a look at the first one so this is a mobile phone in portrait mode and it gives you the dimensions you can see it just displays the article title you can also see it has this little plus sign next to it here's the one bug that I found with the module so far is that it doesn't display the label to the left of the field I'm going to be taking a look at that and if you have time I suggest you try to contribute back as well so we can get this little bug fixed because that's one of the one of the bugs that seems to be standing out that of course makes it somewhat unusable but if that bug is fixed which I'm sure it will be soon the module will of course be in a much better state we'll go ahead and look at it on mobile landscape mode you can see it's the same thing but you can see more of the the field still works the same way if you go to a small tablet mode now you can see you can s you'll see additional fields so the the comment count and the updated date field are not listed but the other fields are showing you can click and you can see the comment count and the updated date the small tablet landscape is the same way the tablet portrait still shows that and I believe the tablet landscape actually does show the entire nope it still does show in tablet mode with the plus and the minus however if you come into the full table you can see it shows the entire table with all of the the fields no plus or minus icon on the left and it shows all your data so as you can see the foo table module is still a work in progress but the possibilities with this module are endless so let's go ahead and contribute back if you can and let's make this module even better and then we can go ahead and use it on a lot of cool Drupal responsive websites so if you're curious to get into responsive a little more definitely check out the foo table module it's gonna be a really cool module just has a few little issues that need to be worked out thanks again to buildamodule.com for sponsoring this episode of the daily dose of Drupal and thank you for watching we'll see you next time